Hello traders, welcome to the new weekly forecast for the trading week beginning on 12th of August. In the coming week, we have major reports coming from UK and US, mainly related to inflation and GDP numbers. So let's see how these reports are going to impact our currency pairs. Apart from the technical chart setups, I'll be also adding COT reports in my analysis this week. So let's find out the tradable setups for the coming week. So in today's video, the first instrument is Euro versus Pound. So Euro GBP currency pair, let's start from the highest time frame. I'm going to begin from monthly here. And I need to clean all the existing drawings. So here we go on the monthly time frame for Euro versus Pound. And if you notice, the current pattern is here we got strong buyers bouncing from this level and they took the price to this height. So this is the highest point. So apart, uh, after that, we got some correction, but if you notice the sellers, they had given up. So this is the first run of sellers ending here. Then we got a bounce. This is the second run of sellers ending here. And then again, we got a bounce. So this is the lowest point created by the seller. So it's a monthly support. So in short, I'm going to add a line here, which will represent the monthly support. So I'm going to add a support line here. I'm going to zoom in. Now the buyers, they entered into the market from the monthly support level. So this is the run up. So buyers looking strong. Then we got some sell off. Then again, we got buyers and this is the end of buyers here. So we are going to, I'm going to mark a lower high point here. So this is the low, lower high point. Now again, we got lower high and lower high. Then we got lows and lower lows, but the momentum for the sellers is lost here. If you notice, we also have on the monthly frame, the end of selling here, it comes with continuing bullish divergence here. And I'm going to apply my analysis to the next lower time frame that is weekly now. So here based on weekly frame, what I've done, I've, I'm going to mark the price pattern here. So starting from the lowest point, this is monthly support. We got low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And on the top, we got bearish divergence. So this is higher high formation, end of buying comes with bearish divergence here. And since then the market became bearish. Now, I need to mark turning point here. Sellers, lower high, again lower high. This is the first low, and this is the next low. Then we have turning point here. We have lower high and lower high, followed by low, low, and lower low. If you notice, the sellers, they look quite exhausted because we have huge bullish divergence between the two major lows even on MACD lines, and we also got bullish divergence between the latest lows here based on histogram, they are flat. So this is the bullish divergence coming into play. So definitely sellers, they have lost the control here and the buyers have taken over. Now I'm moving to daily frame, and on the daily frame, the picture is similar. We got lower low formation, bullish divergence, double bullish divergence, break of structure, so everything uh, looks in favor of buyers here. Now the buyers, they took the price to the previous, the historical resistance area. So here we got resistance and the next resistance here. So the market reached euro pound price reached exactly to the historical resistance area. But looking at the price action, buyers are in full control. Now we are expecting short term pullback here. So we are moving down to four hourly chart. Now look at the behavior here. Do we have bearish divergence on the chart? No, we, on the basis of four hourly chart, the pattern is still bullish. So I'm marking the low, higher low, higher low, and higher low, followed by higher low, higher low. We have highs, higher high, and higher high. In fact, equal highs here, but no signs of bearish divergence higher high histogram formation, higher high MACD line formation, and higher high price formation. So everything is in confluence here, no divergence. So there is a short term pullback, but not the trend change. 
So I'm going to apply fib retracement and this time I'm going to apply retracement from the lowest level to the recent high. So we can expect price to go back to the previous important areas of support or resistance. So I'm going to mark the important level of support and resistance. So basis of the historical price trend, we have an important area here. Then the next important high comes here, which is also very close to 50% mark. So we can expect short term pullback in Euro pound and I can expect buyers to take over around 85.30 or the psychological mark of 0 0.85. And this is also going to be our rising trend line. So the buyers, they still remain in control. Let's move on to one hourly chart. Now on the one hourly chart, the picture looks short term bearish here. So we got equal highs with bearish divergence. And on the basis of divergence, this is the break of structure. The sellers, they have taken over on the lower time frame. The market is right now consolidating. It will continue its downward trend on the shorter time frame. And I'm expecting the sellers to continue until 0 0.85 and that is the 50% mark. So if you want to sell in the short term, uh, trade cautiously because you're going against the trend and the trend will remain, the trend is expected to remain until 0 0.85, the bearish trend, short term bearish trend. Now coming down to 15 minutes chart. So here is the trend identified on 15 minutes. We have higher highs with bearish divergence. The breakout structure has taken place and now we have high we have lower high. This is the end of first bearish move. Slight correction, which was just 38% on the basis of Feb retracement. And I'm expecting the continuation. So we have an opportunity here to apply Feb extension in the downward direction because we have three points here. So this is the starting point on the top, connecting to the low created and connecting to the lower high created. Now, if you notice, the first extension is coming exactly on 38% mark retracement and FIB extension 100% is coming exactly on 50% mark. So this creates a magnet zone. So Euro pound, you can make some money by shorting until 0 0.85, but cautiously the main trend is bullish and you can switch to buying when it comes to 0 0.85. Now let's move to, okay, uh, I promise that I'll add COT reports in uh, conjunction to my technical analysis. So give me a second, I'm going to open. So here we are referring to COT legacy futures report and I'm going to select Euro reports. So here we go on COT legacy reports and I'm going to refer to the non-commercial contracts. So based on this report, we have Long contracts, 185,790.99 versus short contracts, which are 152,219. So definitely we have higher number of long contracts as of now. And this report is on the basis of last week, which is released every Tuesday. And the open interest is in favor of buyers. So euro remains stronger in the market. Now I'm going to refer to pounds report. So let's go back and we need to open British pound COT legacy report. Now, if you understand uh, the long contracts were 126,080 and out of these 39,555 long contracts have been closed. Whereas the short contracts were 51,681 and only 2,483 short contracts are closed. So definitely, Buyers are exiting from their positions in pound, so which means pound is comparatively getting weaker to euro. So based on our technical chart setup, euro pound remains a buy. Now let's move back to the next currency pair and right now I'm referring to pound versus New Zealand dollar. Now I'll start my analysis from the daily frame. I need to clean my chart and here, uh, okay, in fact I want to start my analysis from the weekly frame. Now, if you notice on the weekly frame, this is the lowest point and then we got higher low, 
then this is double bottom turning point then again we have turning point then this is the latest turning point coming into play so I want to start my analysis from this point so I'm going to zoom in now and I want to start my analysis from the latest turning point so this is the latest turning point in the market on the weekly frame so basis on the latest price pattern buyers they've taken the full control then we got some correction then we got buyers with full control we got some correction and this is the last leg of, of buyers now until now we are anticipating uh, bearish divergence here so we are still anticipating but we do not have it on the chart so because the MACD lines they have still not crossed in the bearish direction so I cannot take it for granted it is expected that it is going to complete divergence soon but until then it remains bullish now on the basis of latest price pattern on the daily chart now here we have lowest point which is a turning point then we got another turning point and we got the latest turning point so we have higher lows in conjunction with higher highs and on the basis of last two highs it's forming higher high pattern we have higher high MACD lines and we have higher high MACD histogram so everything remains in favor of buyers no signs of weakness in the bullish pattern we also have a rising trend line here and currently it seems that the sellers they have taken short term control and they are bringing some correction in this bullish market for pound versus New Zealand so I'm going to apply Fib retracement here starting from the lowest point touching the rising trend line to the recent highest point and the sellers they have taken the price back to 61.8 now let's move down to four hourly chart now what is the pattern on four hourly chart so on the four hourly chart it seems that sellers they're still enjoying the control so strong sellers here slight pullback again I can see sharp correction here downward trend and the buyers they are not looking so strong at the moment comparing the low points we have a low and a lower low formation and we also got bullish divergence between these two lows but the divergence is visible only on MACD histogram but not on MACD lines which means this could be a short term pullback in the upward direction and then the sellers can take the control back from the buyers and bring it back to the retest of rising trend line I'm going to apply fib extension in the downward direction because we have a on the top we have corrective point B and C here so we are done now we have already crossed pound New Zealand it has already crossed fib extension 61.8 and in such a scenario there is a high probability that it can go to the next extension level of 100 so which is very much possible so that is <coughs> this is the same uh, direction which we are getting from the higher time frame daily I'm also going to apply a falling trend line here so until buyers they breach the falling trend line and finally they should create a new high above this area which is around 2.16 I believe the sellers will remain in control now let's move down to one hourly chart now if you notice on the one hourly chart the trend still remains bearish so we have sharp sell-off here sellers in control short-term buyers correction again I can see sharp, sharp sell-off here and the bullish behavior looks weaker here so in comparison to sellers buyers they they look comparatively weaker I can also see the higher high formation coming very close to the falling trend line and a probability of bearish divergence here so I won't be surprised if it reaches closer to the trend line and then sellers take over again and push it towards FIB extension 100% in the downward direction moving to 15 minutes again the trend is short term bullish on 15 minutes why short term bullish because I can see higher lows and higher highs being formed even in the latest 
uh, move upwards i can see low higher low and higher low so this could be short term bullish but ultimately i'm expecting that the sellers will take over the control and complete the fib extension 100% in the downward direction i'm going to apply fibonacci extension on the bullish move from the lowest point to the first high created on 15 minutes and the higher low created on 15 minutes and i need to change the color of extension lines here so i can expect oh, the buyers they have already reached fib extension 100% best <clears throat> best case scenario uh, they can take the price to fib extension 200% which is again going to be a lower high pattern here so i am using fib extension 200% as the best case scenario for the buyers in the current situation so i can expect sellers to take over the control either from the current price or if they if buyers they succeed in maintaining the control in the short run i can expect the resumption of bearish trend around 2.1425 for the completion of fib extension on the higher frame towards 100 percent so short term plan is to sell on the rise until we see a breach above fe 300% mark that is 2.1569 so this is the high i'm talking about now let's move to the next currency pair which, which is usd versus japanese yen so usd jpy starting from weekly here cleaning the existing lines zooming in closer and look at the price action here so here we got higher high formation with bearish divergence so I'm talking about bullish move up, corrective move down, bullish move up, corrective move down, and next bullish move up, which comes with bearish divergence. Bearish divergence being formed on MACD histogram and MACD lines together, so it's a strong divergence. On the basis of bearish divergence, I need to mark the BOS point. So here we have the weekly BUS level, which is not yet breached. I'm also going to mark a rising trend line here on the weekly chart, which is definitely breached by the sellers. So the sellers, they have broken the rising trend line. So which means the buyers, they are out of the market for USDJPY and the sellers are definitely in. I'm moving down to daily frame now. Now on the basis of daily frame, one more confluence in bearish divergence here so we have higher high pattern with bearish divergence we got the breakup structure on the daily chart as well and we got a massive sell-off in the previous weeks so dollar jpy bulls they are out of the market and sellers they are maintaining the control i do not see any bullish divergence being formed on the daily chart so which means the sellers they remain in control for this currency pair i'm quickly moving down to 4h and on the basis of 4 rd chart i'm going to mark the pattern here so here we go and i start from the highest point so here we have double top formation high lower high lower high then again a lower high lower high in conjunction with lower lows being formed here and lower lows being formed on histogram and lower lows being formed on macd line which means no chance for the buyers and the sellers are in total control i'm also going to add a falling trend line here which is going to serve as a resistance now since it's a resistance line let's turn it into red color okay so if buyers they want to take the control they need to cross the resistance line here this is required for buyers which i don't think so they are ready to take over the control yet now moving down to one hourly chart now only on one hourly chart i have seen that buyers they are trying to crawl upwards so here we have first bullish move after massive sell-off because market became oversold so definitely we need some rebalancing in the market so this is the first attempt by the buyers uh, massive move then short term correction second massive move short correction and now if you notice the third bullish move looks so weaker so the buyers they could not even breach the previous high i can see histogram going down which means divergence has come into play some weakness has come into play 
I can add a rising trend line here on the latest pattern on one hourly chart. So this is the rising trend line I'm talking about. So the sellers, they have already crossed the rising trend line. So since it's a rising trend line, let's mark it blue here. Now moving to 15 minutes chart. So here we have, again, bullish pattern correction, bullish pattern correction, and the third time the buyers, they are looking so weak. So I won't be surprised if sellers, they maintain their control from the current level and USD JPY starts rolling down. Best case scenario, I can see if buyers, they still hold their control in the market for dollar JPY, we can expect dollar JPY to go back to 150 mark, which is an intersection for the two trend lines. Very, very strong resistance level, psychological mark of 150, and the seller should take over the control around this price level. So dollar JPY remains sell on the rise. Now, if you want to check the COT reports, I'm going to check COT reports for New Zealand dollar. We have already checked for Euro and Pound. Now, uh, now we will check the COT reports for USD, JPY, and New Zealand dollar. So going back to our COT report website. And this time I'm going to select New Zealand dollar. So here is New Zealand dollar's COT legacy report. Now, based on COT report, if you see, uh, we have just 19,843 long contracts versus 36,594 short contracts. Out of 19,843, 7,400 contracts have been closed, whereas out of 36,594 short contracts, only 2,100 contracts have been closed. So, which means the sellers they are dominating for New Zealand dollar. So that is the reason I see New Zealand dollar to remain weaker in the coming days and weeks. Going back to USD and JPY. So the next is USD index. So here we go and, okay, now on the basis of non-commercial COT report for US dollar, uh, 30,996 long contracts versus 14,860 short contracts, whereas um, we have addition. We have addition in both sides. So, 1,023 contracts added to long, and 1,845 contracts added to short. So, picture is not very clear on the basis of COT report for USD. It remains a mixed report here. And I'm moving back to JPY and JPY legacy report. COT legacy report. Okay. Now. 66,169 long contracts versus 77,523 short contracts and long contracts have been added, 1153, whereas short contracts closed in the recent days or weeks are massive, 60,953. So almost 61,953 short contracts have been closed which means the, the market is shifting towards buying. So the institutional money is flowing towards JPY. So that is the reason I'm expecting JPY to remain stronger in the coming days and weeks. Now let's quickly move to the next set of instruments. So here we have covered all three uh, Forex pairs. Now I'm moving to gold. Now on the basis of weekly chart, I'm just going to clean all the lines here. So on the basis of weekly chart, massive support formed around 1600 mark, long time ago, 1632. So look at the behavior here. So strong buyers, short term correction. Again, buyers, short term correction here. Followed by strong buyers and short term correction. And this correction ended at 2295. I'm going to add a line here which will represent the weekly support. So I'm going to add a horizontal line which comes at 2286 or 2290. Let me zoom in and mark it exactly. Yes, so 2290 is the support on weekly frame which is required to be breached by the sellers in order to make gold bearish. Now let's move down to daily. Now I'm going to read my daily analysis from this level, 2219. So here I can see buyers, 
in full control, sellers could not create a lower low. Followed by a new set of buyers, very strong buying action here. Then we got some corrective action here, so we, we, we got another higher low. Followed by buyers, but this time buyers could not create a higher high. So currently gold is locked between falling highs and rising lows. So it has formed a triangular pattern here. So I'm going to connect the trend lines. I'm going to add a trend line on the top, connecting the falling highs, lower highs. I'm also going to add connecting the rising lows here. And currently gold is consolidating in a triangular pattern. Now it's time to move down to four hourly chart. We need to adjust the rising and the falling trend lines on the four hourly basis. And I've done it on the lower side. I'm going to do it on the higher side as well. So again, we have got rising lows and falling highs, triangular pattern here. Now on the basis of the recent price action, this is the lower low formation with bullish divergence coming into play. So this is the run up by the buyers followed by corrective move. So I'm going to add Fib extension on this area. So I'm adding A, B and C. So I'll be applying Fib extension here. Starting from the lowest point, connecting to the highest point and joining with higher low. So the first extension level visible is 2454. So the current bullish trend for gold on the lower time frame, so current price is 2430. So the current bullish trend on the lower time frame is expected to remain until 2454. Now I'm moving to one hourly chart. On the basis of one, one hourly chart, I can see we got low followed by higher low followed by higher low and we got higher high formation. I do not see any bearish divergence on the one hourly chart, so which means the buyers, they will remain in control. I'm going to add another ABC pattern on one hourly chart, so connecting the lowest, highest and the higher low point, so which will give us the magnet zone, so I'm going to add second time FIB extension on early chart and I need to change the color to here we can say golden color. So 161 is exactly overlapping with 0 0.618 so this becomes our magnet. So I'm expecting in the coming days gold should reach 2454 or 2455 uh, maximum followed till 2466 and then again I'm expecting one more bounce lower because gold is not yet out of the triangular pattern. So for long term I'm still bullish. I'm not changing my view on the basis of four hourly chart or daily chart. I'm expecting this consolidation to be over soon and once we get closer towards the end of this triangular pattern I'm expecting a bullish breakout with a retest at 24.50 and continuation to the higher levels. So the plan is in order to trade for the short term, we need to be, uh, we need to be taking into consideration the boundaries of the triangle and trade accordingly. Short term plan is still bullish. Longer term plan is definitely bullish, but I'll be switching to sell carefully around 24.50 to 24.55. And finally, I'm going to cover NASDAQ. So here I'm going to start on weekly basis again and zooming in, let's understand the pattern here. Uh, this was the turning point on the weekly chart. So buyers, small selling, major buying, small selling, next major buying, small selling, higher lows being formed, next major buying, small selling and next major buying. but comparatively stronger selling here. I can also see that the last two highs have created bearish divergence on the histogram. Exactly equal highs on the histogram whereas higher high pattern being formed on price. So the buyers they look exhausted. I'm going to apply FIB retracement from the previous low to the recent high and currently Nasdaq has completed the retracement of 61.8. Now let's move down to daily chart. Now on the daily chart, I can see 
the sellers they look tired so the sellers they took the control here if you notice we have divergence here on the top on the daily chart this is the breakout structure then we got high lower high selling short term pullback selling short term pullback selling short term pullback massive selling and now slightly stronger pullback by the buyers and the sellers they look exhausted on the basis of continuing divergence on macd histogram now let's move to four hourly chart now if you notice on four hourly chart this is the latest selling created by the sellers massive sell off but the buyers they're trying to crawl up but they don't look so impressive so i can expect retracement so i'm going to apply fibonacci retracement starting from this highest point to the latest low point and if you notice there is no bearish divergence on four hourly chart lower low lower low all around which means the sellers will take over the control after the short term pullback is completed by the buyers so i'm going to apply fibonacci retracement on the four hourly high and low and we can expect nasdaq to bounce back towards 61.8 to 70% so in terms of price value we can expect nasdaq to go up to 18871 to 19050 and i can join a falling trend line here so they'll be completing the retest of the falling trend line and continuation of sellers so this is the plan for nasdaq moving down to one hourly or 15 minute chart on one hourly chart i can see buyers they remain in control they have low higher low this is turning point again we have a higher low and after creating this push in the upward direction the latest one they are going sideways so we have sideways consolidation going on right now i'm expecting a bullish breakout and nasdaq to retest the price level of 18871 to 19050 and then switch back to selling side so this is the plan for the upcoming week i hope i've added some value to your trading plan So enjoy your trades and stay profitable. Bye bye.